Okay. Let me just adjust my camera. That's good. Um, let me just share. I'm going to share this really quick in my Facebook. So one moment. I'll share it on my Facebook and on my um Facebook. No insights. One second. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm gonna send it, copy this to my group. Also. Sorry, my computer's low, it's very slow. Okay, there. <sighs> Candy, hey! I'm not used to going live on YouTube. I keep telling myself, I'm gonna go live, I'm gonna go live. Just not used to it, so I wanted to play around with this head that I sculpt the little who style. She's got a dent here, but I'm not worried about that because I'm gonna have, um, can you guys hear me okay? I should ask that first. Candy, can you let me know if you can hear me fine? Hopefully, hopefully you can. Okay, so I have some pictures here. I was drawing kind of how I want to play around with it. So I'm just going to get started. So for anybody that wants to uh, just hang around and check this out. Okay, awesome. I hope you're doing okay, Candy. Hope you're feeling all right. So I already got the eyes done. I don't have them sealed yet. Oh, this thing has an autofocus. Um, maybe I should turn autofocus off. Okay, I turned autofocus off, so hopefully it won't get fuzzy on you. Good, I'm glad you're feeling a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with the eyebrows. I need to have the eyebrows in order to do the other stuff that I wanna do. So I'm just gonna go right below her brow bone and start drawing it. We got a live tomorrow in group, Candy, at 11 o'clock my time. So it'll be two o'clock your time doing that pull pick, the little, uh, the Christmas lights head. I think I'll name her Jingles, even though it's, there's no bells. I thought that would be a fun name for that one. And just get these eyebrows going. And I thought I would have a little fun with her, something a little different. You're welcome. I thought I'd do the Grinch hand right here and then a little funky little stuff here on this eye. I was going to do Martha May, but I don't know. I just make it a generalized style, who style head. Okay, that's pretty close. That doesn't look even at all. It's hot in here. Hopefully that fan won't be too loud. Just kind of 
fix this. I put Messenger that you're live in the group Messenger. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I posted the link in group. So hopefully, uh, and then I also posted it on my public page, but you know how that goes, the algorithm. The algorithm sucks whenever you put a link to something else on Facebook. So the chances of people seeing that is pretty slim. My public page anyway. All right. So I'm going to get started by um, the Grinch hand on this side. So I'm first going to make her eyelid, which will be kind of like the Grinch's arm. Hi, Maggie. So I'm going to do eyelid that's going to trail off to be the Grinch's arm. Okay, so we'll do a little poof for his sleeve right here. Then we're going to do his hand. Around probably should have made my pencil a lot sharper for this. Make his pinky that he likes to have pointy. And his finger like this. I want to have this covered so hopefully it'll be okay. Heather on VIP page can I put a post I am building up a supply of eyelashes to help anyone? Absolutely Candy definitely do that. That would be nice. So for any of you that um, aren't familiar with familiar with me here on YouTube or on Facebook. My name's Heather. I'm with Creepy Holiday Stuff and I love to make styrofoam head art. Um, if you're watching me on YouTube tonight, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't. Um, and then there's a little bell that you'll be notified whenever I do go live. I want to try to start going live here a little more because I, I know that I do have some people that are just here with the YouTube. So, let's see. I'm trying to make this look. Oh, that made his finger too long. That looks funny. Gotta change this up. I need to make these go a little bit higher. Sometimes I can't get it on the first try. Oh, my stars. Turn my phone down. Got family group messaging going right now. All right, let me do this again. Let me do this again. It didn't look right. Oh my gosh, I forgot to grab my green paint. Dang it. Oh well. Give it a second. I want this pinky to be more pointed upward. And this one up here more. And then this one. Oh, that didn't even work. I 
I'm going to have to adjust it. It doesn't look right. I just drew out this, this uh, design on a paper and it looked fine, but on the head it's looking kind of silly. Okay. Then he's holding. Why isn't it turning down? He's holding an ornament. Oh, I didn't even see all these comments. I thought about it. I'm not sure why, but I can't comment on the page on my laptop. It can on my phone. Oh, that's weird, Maggie. I wonder why. Is chat hidden on your laptop, Maggie? Okay, let me see. Yeah, I don't really know a lot about it, how to make that work either. And a nice little ornament. A lot of this I can adjust when it comes time to painting. It doesn't look right. Okay, so that's what I want to do with this eye, the Grinch hand. Now for this eye, I thought I'd do something different. So like I said, I came on YouTube, kind of want to just play with it and have a little fun. So I want to do a swirl, Christmas colors, come up high. And then maybe some rhinestones in there. Her nose looks a little bit off. Hopefully I can adjust that when it comes time to painting. I don't know. I'm still new to the sculpting, so I don't think I sanded it down enough on this side. Okay, so for the lips, I want to do something a little different also. So I'm going to give her some arch here. Not a lot, just a little. I got to look at it, sorry, so it's straight on. a little bit weird because the clay is in the lip area. Okay. Do her little separate from the top lip and the bottom lip. I like to do a little indent on the bottom part of the lip. Hi, Dottie. Maybe it's a little too late for everybody. Okay, so I want to actually come up. See if I could do this. This is going to be the hard part, getting it symmetrical. Just something a little different with the mouth. Okay. Then, of course, I'm going to use Christmas colors. Oh, me, I'm hiding. <laughs> You're hiding, Dottie. <laughs> 
All right, so let's get started. Um, hopefully I have some green in here. I forgot to go grab it out of my bucket. And of course I don't. One second, let me go get my green. <sighs> my green, Shopee. thinking about trying some uh, metallic metallic on his hands metallic green maybe it'll stand out more <coughs> okay so I'm gonna get my outliner I'm not gonna outline his fingers yet I'm just gonna go straight to this green then if I need a more defined, then I'll go ahead and outline them because I really kind of messed up on the drawing. Hopefully I can fix it. So I'm going to use some DecoArt Dazzling Metallics. This is crystal green. thought it would be fun to have some really deep colors. how it looks so again I might have to outline if I don't have enough definition in his fingers Hi, Denise. Yeah, I posted a link to this YouTube uh, video in my group and on my public page, but Facebook is not always that grand on sharing. The algorithm usually sucks because they don't like when you share other links to other platforms. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little outline because this I lose this little definition of this finger with the pinky coming out. So 
sistema. Any mess ups I can adjust with my base paint. This the base paint of this head is actually um, natural beige, but it's the natural beige that is deco art. You got to be careful. So I think it's ceramic coat has a natural beige, totally different color. Um, Dottie asks, "What are we painting?" I just wanted to play around with this head. This is the head that I was actually going to make her Martha May from The Grinch, but I decided to uh, just play around with it, make it whatever, but like a Grinch style. Yeah, this, this color uh, base is pretty. So I'm going to use the base to fix that because I made that finger too thick. Hi, Kathy. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with, uh, if I can find it, oh shoot, it's not natural beige, sorry, warm beige, it's warm beige, I was wrong. Thinning his finger out a little bit. There we go. All right, so now we're going to do the little white. I don't like the black, so I will go back in with the green and get closer to the black. I just want a little bit of it for the definition. So you can see better, more detail. Just make these little... Little curves to make it look like it's poofy. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Tuscan Red, which will be his sleeve and the eyeshadow. And I probably will end up putting glitter on that just so it stands out more. Like I said, I want a really colorful head. I would really appreciate it if you guys would share, if you could share this live video. Would like to try to build up my following a little more on YouTube.
So share and subscribe and don't forget to thumbs up. Also click the notification bell. She also will have some false eyelashes, so that's going to look pretty there. Um, I do want to give her a little bit of smoky, um, shadowy look uh, underneath her eyes. So I'm going to use an eyeshadow of black, which will show up underneath her. Thank you for sharing, Dottie. Thank you. So show up under her eyelashes. You look kind of pretty. Just a little bit. Any flaws is okay because the eyelashes wheel over it. I just want a little bit of a smoky look there. Okay. I think I'm going to actually protect that eye now before I get lashes on it so it'll be dry. So I'm just going to seal it so I don't have to worry about it. When I glue the lashes on, I don't have to worry about the eye. Okay. Thank you, Denise. I really appreciate it. And Candy, thank you. If you guys are whoever's new to watching, say hi and let me know where you're from. Okay, so there's that little eye with the Grinch. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go back with my green really quick. Then I will do uh, the ornament. So this head is going to be part of the the Christmas auction. Trying to get me some heads made. I'm really behind. Got like four or five heads. Need more. Definitely not going to have as many as I had for the Halloween. That was just too much. Looks a little better thinning out the outline. You could probably even put some glitter on his hand. I don't know. I think I'll probably just leave it with this sheen save the glitter for the eyeshadow. Okay. Hi Tracy. Tracy is from Dixie, Georgia. Thanks you thank you for joining. Hey Kathy, she's a Californian. 
Los Angeles. I'm in the Central Coast of California, Salinas, Monterey Bay area. Hug God 54, Tammy from Oklahoma. Ah, oh, thank you, Tammy. I tried living in Oklahoma when I was 16 years old with my first husband. And I lasted about, mm, I don't know, seven, eight months. Saw a tornado and I came back to California. I was so scared. I am using this Tuscan red, one of my favorite reds. And my wonderful friend Candy got me loaded up with this stuff. I love it. Love the color. It's perfect. Now I'm use I use my general sketch and wash. So all this pencil, I'll just wipe that off with some water, a rag and some water when uh, I'm all done. Won't even have to worry about painting it, touching it up with the base. Um, you know what? I really want to use silver. Or no, we'll use gold. We'll do a gold, um, you know, a little top of the ornament. This is actually vintage brass, but it's, it's like a really pretty gold. Candy's New York. Always wanted to go to New York. Pennsylvania. He's way up there. Isn't Pennsylvania like really, really close to Canada? My line is a little bit off, so. Maybe I'll make the line gold also. The hook, it's not mine, it's actually a hook. I'm not too far from the border of Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, so you guys are all really close up there. That was too funny, I missed that. <laughs> I can get it love watching it. Oh, thank you, Tracy. I appreciate it. I really enjoy sharing uh, these these creations with you guys. Okay. And it's kind of hard to see because I have pencil in there right now. That'll all get corrected later. But I was a little bit off on my pencil line. Oh, that's cute. See, it's going to be cute. Nice and bright and colorful. All right, so let's do... Um, let me do her eyebrow. Let me go ahead and get her eyebrow done. Heather, do you see where Candy said she was born? It's like, what? No, I didn't even see that. Candy, you never told me that. You were born in Salinas? No, did you see where... Ka oh, Kathy was born in Salinas. I'm like, wait, I talk to Candy all the time and she never told me she was born in Salinas. Kathy was born in Salinas. Oh, I see it now. I was born in Salinas and still have family there. Yes, that is awesome. That is awesome. Salinas is... Uh, I don't know where... My family's getting a bit tired of it. Would be nice to move, but I'm like in the middle between, I have uh, two of my children. The younger ones live with me, but the three older ones are, the. I'm like in the center. Like one lives um, 30 minutes that way and one lives 30 minutes the other way and the other one lives you know, 40 minutes that way. So I'm like the center. So it's like, ah, oh, if I move, you know, I'm just where everybody comes. Everybody meets here. So I don't know. Stuck four days in a hotel to not enjoy. <laughs> Can you, did you, did you, how did you add the nose? Okay. The nose is done. 
with paper clay. Um, I don't know if you, you look, go on my Facebook page, you'll see that I did Mrs. Grinch and I did the nose. It's just sculpted onto here. Also, anybody new here that's not familiar with me, I do have my eye class. Um, it's this Saturday. It's an event on Facebook. You can find it in the events section. And if you want to have some time um, for me to show you how to draw and paint eyes, I mean, there's, I have like one or two here on YouTube, but this is going to be an actual live where uh, you can ask questions or you can follow along. And then I'm also going to afterwards teach how to do cartoon eyes on flatheads, which are really fun to make. So if you're interested, just go to my Facebook page, Creepy Holiday Stuff, and click on events, and you'll see it there. All right, so there's her eyebrow. I might do some rhinestones, little tiny ones here, because I think I'm going to do it there, too. See, might as well do the other eyebrow while I'm got the black open. bit too long there but that's okay way too long let that dry a little bit then I'm going to actually clean that up I don't want it I want it shorter like this side Design of the eye. I thought it would be fun to do like a little candy cane or something there on the eye. Okay, so 
So let me go in and try to, I mean, I could do it when I'm done, but I just, it's going to bug me. I want to shorten up that eyebrow. Just too much. Um, too long. Okay, it's a little bit better. I was full with it a little more later, but at least it's shorter. And it's going to have a slight uneven look because this little design is so close to the eyebrow where this one's not. So, all right. So, let's see. Um, I really don't want to use my pencil too much because when I use white over the pencil, you know, I have to do a few coats because you can see the pencil, but I'm going to go light. So hopefully you can see, oh wow, I got paint right there. I didn't see that. go real light. Or you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do white first. Then I'll go over it in the red with the red candy cane stripes. That is what I'll do. Time to buy more paint. This is coat number one. I want to try the pour over paint on the head. Yeah, the paint pour. I, I've done paint pours on little glass when I was painting glass almost two years ago. Um, I don't know if I did it right because I don't even know if you're supposed to. I think you're supposed to add a medium or something to thin out the paint. And I didn't. I didn't do that. But I think it would look really cool on a head. So 
very messy though. All right, so let me give that a chance to dry. I have to go over my outline to say messed it up a little bit. Okay, let me go ahead and do that now. I'm waiting for it to dry. The mess I've been is what I am worried about doing. Yeah, Brie has to have her nose and everything. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that would be messy, huh? Unless you do it maybe outside on a table. It's a sunny day. Because um, when I did my glass, I just put a, a big, like, a baking pan underneath with uh, the wire, like, you cool cookies and stuff. I used that on the counter. It was a... Uh, Super messy, but the glass turned out cool. There was a lot of flaws in it, so I think I, I think you are supposed to thin out the paint. All right, we'll leave that for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and give her some smoky shadow underneath her eye while I'm waiting for that to dry. It's like the other side. So right now you'll see it a lot, but when her lashes are on, you won't see it as much, but it'll be there. Just be a nice look. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, so you can buy the pourable paint. So that's probably what you'll want to get so that it's already mixed and the right consistency. We add a little bit more white now that it's kind of drying. Okay, let that dry and then I'll add the candy cane. Candy cane stripes. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna open up, oh, I don't know where that came from. I'm gonna outline her lips because I want the little swirlies here on each side to, um, boy, her eyes are gonna look so different from each other. Mm. Shake this. Um, I want the little swirls on each side of the mouth to be back. So I'm just going to do this now.
not used to this kind of nose on the head. <laughs> Trying to find a place to put my hand. They're not perfect, but I think it looks okay. Probably don't need this line here because I think I'm going to glitter um, her bottom lip. Candy cane her top. I don't know. I'm going to have candy cane up there. I don't know. Bottom lip doesn't look even. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. I think it's going to be cute. Oh, I forgot to do a line on her nose. And then I didn't even... Draw her nose right here. Um, let me see. Just make it a little tiny one. Make it red. I'll put some red glitter on it. black in there. Although I'm going to cover it with glitter so it really don't matter.
am able to get this. I am able to get this live, but cannot get the other videos. I wonder why. What do you mean, Debbie? What do you mean you can't get the other videos? On Facebook, do you mean? Some of those I made kind of big, so I'll have to fix them. Well, if it's a little bit off. I think it would be super cute if the Christmas bulb was large. This one, make it larger. do that. I'll have to do another coat on that because it's you can see the other one underneath it. Okay, so now. Now we're going to go in and just add, I'm not even going to use my pen, or maybe I'll use my pencil. Hold on. Just so I can get it a little bit even. Thank you, Candy. Okay. Let's add some candy cane strips. I'm going to have to go change my water in a minute because it starts messing with my color.
Hold on, let me look at candy canes. I think I might add the double, double stripes. Oh my God, I have 27 Texas. Okay, I'll have to look at those later. Jeez Louise. Okay, candy canes. Candy cane. Um, images. Oh, okay. I might get a little too fancy. See how they're all like fancy? I like three stripes in there. Sure looks nice though. Then you have that one though that's three. I don't know. I don't know if I should do it or not. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Uh I see. I know what I might try. Maybe I could always go over it in white. It'll take a few coats, but a thick one in between. super thick. Okay. I was going to go with green, but I think I want to let leave uh, the Grinch's hand to be the only green on the head. I don't know yet if I'm going to do the top lip in white or all red. I don't want to overpower the head with so much red. Because I definitely want to do the nose with red glitter. And I want to get some rhinestones. Set this stuff aside for a minute. I'm going to get some lashes on her too. Is this one sold? Debbie, no, this is not sold. Um, she's actually going to be part of my Christmas auction. <coughs> she's going to be in the auction coming up. Um, I don't have a the event scheduled yet, but I'm shooting for either the last week of October or the first Saturday of um, 
the first Saturday of November. Wow, I used a lot of my red. Need more red. Don't want to use big ones. I know you're probably looking at my glitter going, oh my gosh, it's so gross. But this is the only bag that looks like this. <laughs> Try to keep my other bags more organized. All right. So I'm going to get my glue. Here, where is it? Here it is. And a little brush. And where did my had a Q-tip here somewhere. See how dirty my water is? Good night, Debbie. Yes, definitely, um, Debbie, check out my, uh, I have to watch tomorrow. I've been moving all day and I'm pooped. No problem. I know it's super late. A lot of you are more on the East Coast, so I know that you guys are probably tired over there. So this will be on the YouTube to watch um, anytime. To watch the replay. Let's get some. I'm gonna put little rhinestones before I get the glitter on or the eyelashes. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that uh, I have enough colors that I want to use. I might have to mix the clear and the red. I don't see very many red here. Put a couple clear. That looks kind of pretty. All right. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Did I miss where you said you got the styrofoam head? Hi, Andrea. Um, the styrofoam heads I get from Michael's or Joann's. You can also purchase at Sally's. Um, some Walmarts have them. Um, Hobby Lobby has them, but they don't have quite this style. They have the longer neck. Some are the wider heads. But myself, I get them at Joann's and Michael's. I watched a series on Netflix all week. Now I'm sad it's over. Candy, I totally powered through. Um, oh, what is there? Ratchet. Oh, my God. I loved it so much. And now I'm sad because it's over. Just like you. I, I powered through it instead of taking my time and I really liked it. I liked One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, so it was fine watching this one. Okay, I'm stressing. I see one red. Oops, where'd it go? There's a red there. There's a red. All right, so I put a couple. Do those three first. I don't know how many I have. So yes, ladies, keep your eye out for uh, my Christmas auction coming up. I'll post it in my events when I get it scheduled. 
and this lady will be in there. All right, she's going to be ready for some lashes here in a sec. And I got to get glitter on her nose. I just was waiting for her nostrils to dry. Hey, I will have to check it out. I watched the one from 10 a.m. Stop to eat dinner and then watch some more until 1 a.m. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame you. It's um when you get when you get into those um series and you really like it, it's hard to to not watch. Let's get rid of this really quick. Okay, let me get some glitter on her nose. So, always got to be careful with your tacky glue. Don't put too much because it'll just start dripping. Then you're going to have a mess. It's very difficult to get that glitter off once it's attached. So, just put enough, not too much. Candy, did you watch One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Or have you ever seen it before, I guess I should say. They have it on Netflix, too. Okay, so now you want to try to make sure you've got it all on there. Because I tell you what, if you don't cover all the areas that you want covered. It usually you just it's hard to get more on there. It looks kind of messed up. When you try to add more glitter. Every show had a lesson in it. It was the midwives who worked and lived with the Oh yes. Is that the one that had nine seasons? I was just watching previews of the midwives on Netflix. And it said there was nine seasons. And I was like, wow, this must, must be a good show to have that many seasons. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> It's super cute. Hold on here. Okay. Underneath. I need to get another coat. And after I get a coat, I can put a little highlight on it. I got to try to hide the outline of the other ornament underneath. Geez, I could even put glitter on that too. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So let's see. Eyelashes. So 
so much trouble with the white paint I was using. Didn't realize it was gloss paint. Oh, yeah, some of the gloss paint. Oh, it could be a pain. Pain, pain, especially if you paint your whole base in a gloss and it's like, oh my God, and you're trying to draw on it. It's just not that great. Were you glittering the ornament? You know what? I'm thinking I should glitter the ornament. I think that would probably look cute. So I probably will glitter the ornament. Um, all right. So I'm going to grab some ashes here. I don't know. Wait, I got to see if I need to double them up. Can you grab me a Dr. Pepper, please? It's pretty late to be having. I'll use these. Nothing too dark because then it will hide all the oh, decoration. Be able to get. Me. Thank you. I love you. My husband. My husband. All right. So let's get some. Hi, Yolanda. Is this going to be in the auction? Yes, Yolanda, it is. You know, I was going to make Martha May from the Grinch with this one. Um, but then I thought, you know what? I just want to have fun with it. I want to make something fun and colorful. Of course, with the Who theme because the nose. But I do have a little wig I might put on her. Let's see. Although the wig is blondish and she's got black eyebrows, so I don't know. So I'm using my tacky glue. I just put a little bit on the top of the eye where it goes just to help it attach better. Thank you, Yolanda. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I like it. Something different and cute. Very Christmassy and I know. Good job on those. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I need something else to hold it. Like I always tell everybody, keep your eyes on the eyelashes. You could totally ruin your whole head if you let it dry without watching it because they like to slide around. And the juice. Yes, she's it. Well, she's related to the Who's. I was going to do Martha May, but I changed my mind. I don't know what's the ears. What the ears? The star playing with ears. Oh. Making fun. Yeah, I do have some elf ears. Okay. So I'm going to do some bottom lashes. Heather, have, I have a black wig with bangs. Ah, that would be so cute. We'll see how this blonde one looks on her, but wow, the black with the bangs, how cute that would be, huh? But you know what? Right now, our party state has all kinds of wigs. Um, I could probably pick one up if the blonde doesn't look right. I have a feeling, though, if I go with a... Oh, you know what else I should do? I shouldn't use the blonde wig. I should go get a little short green wig at Party City. You know, the the um, they have the green and the pink and the white, all the different colors um, of just kind of like almost looks punk rocky short. You know what? That would look so cute on her. What do you think about that? I kind of like that. And then with the Christmas hat, with the little short hair everywhere. She will look like, actually, she will look like an elf, like Tatum just said. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. You know what just came to my head right now, Candy? I've been talking about this freaking live tomorrow in group. I have to take Poe to the vet tomorrow at 1030. Oh, my God. And I've been posting in group. And everything. Oh, see you tomorrow. I have to cancel that. Shoot. 
I completely forgot about that. Popo, you got to go to the vet tomorrow. After I do this, I got to give her a bath. Jesus. Great. All right, I'm going to have to send a notice in my group that my live is canceled tomorrow. I forgot. And I got my head all ready, too. Maybe I can do it. No, I'll be gone tomorrow night. Shoot, I don't know. I have to reschedule. Okay, this one is actually... I'm heading to bed. We'll watch the rest of the replay. Good night, Maggie. I hope you heard. I was just telling Candy. I forgot our live is canceled tomorrow because I have to take my, my Poochie to the vet at 10.30. So I'll send a reminder. I want to try and go to Michael's tomorrow. Oh, yeah, hopefully you can get out tomorrow, Candy. How is your weather over there? I mean, you live in a place where it's usually really cold, isn't it? Thank you, Yolanda. Doesn't it look cute with the eyelashes? It really brings her eyes to life. Too much glue. The angles help. Uh, it's been cold, but today was a lot warmer too. I remember you saying that last week. Good job, sweet dog. Okay, awesome. Thanks. All right, now the bottom. Uh, Poe was in here with was in here with me. I can't the front door open for a second. Marmar, did you go look on the beds? Marmar, stay around. Let me know if he comes in. I have feet. Okay, get this bottom latch on. No, this is one of those ones that I could tell is going to want to curl up on me. I have to watch it. I need to go to my house. All right, let's glitter this ornament and I won't have to highlight it.
Thank you. Thank you, Yolanda. Okay. I just got to finish her lip, decide what I'm going to do with her lip. Got to be careful glittering when you got eyelashes on. Yes, like that. I'm really liking her. Oh, this lash wants to keep going down. To keep watching him. Okay. One second. Let me just get rid of this glitter. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the red and the glitter because it's kind of the theme of her face. So that's what I'll do. Even though I'm going to put glitter, I still want the red underneath so that for some reason, if I lost glitter, I wouldn't be able to tell. And so far, that usually doesn't happen. Okay, I'm going to give that a second to dry. And then I just need to put glue on her lips and glitter on you know what we could see what the blonde wig looks like just for fun it's totally not a great wig it's really it's just fun curls just to get an idea i don't even know which way is front or back I was going to use it for Martha May and then put a hat and pull down some of the curls. This is a leopard hat, so I don't think I'm going to use it because it doesn't really go. Never mind. I'm not even going to show you. That looks so gross. 